You're home. Hey, Carrie. Uh, we're here in the Rocky Mountains. I don't actually know where you're from, but we're on um, part of my favorite hike. It's a training hike I use for Rocky Mountain National Park. It's called Gray Rock. I can show you where it's at later. But uh, we're about halfway uh, here in this val valley here. I think it's kind of pretty, and I thought it might be a good setting uh, for me to read your passage. But I um, just wanted to show you a little bit about um, the area that I, I like to call home here. Um, we're only about 20 minutes outside of Fort Collins. And, uh, so it's nice and close and we can get away and get away from the city and all that. So. But uh, it's January 29th, I think. And it's disgustingly hot outside. It's probably like, <laughs> what would you say, Ken? Like, 60 or 65. Yeah, somewhere around there. It's got to be about that. It's, it's really, really nice. And in my experience up here, it's atypically warm. So, I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to come up here and show you around a little bit. There's snow on the other side of the valley. And, uh, so I can find this here. So you, ch you chose mm -hmm. Isaiah 53. Who has believed our message, and who has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Like one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows, yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he crushed for our iniquities, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, and yet he did not open his mouth. He was, like, he was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and a sheep before her shears is silent. him and cause him to suffer. Through the Lord makes his life a guilt offering. He will see his offering and prolong his days. And the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. After the suffering of his soul, he will see the light of life and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong. Because he poured out his life unto death, and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Wow, you're right, that was pretty intense. <laughs> gift for anyone who would accept it. It's beautiful. Anyway, I'll have to think about that one a bit more before I uh, say anything more. Anyway, uh, the one that I chose was actually repeated uh, several times uh, in the New Testament. The first uh, instance that I remember it 
was in Paul uh, Paul wrote a lot of letters to the, the Corinthians and the Romans and each of the different churches that you know, they initially sent. But uh, one of the things that it seemed to me uh, in my messages with you is that I wanted to encourage peace in your life. Something to the effect every time. Probably be Grace and peace to you from God our Father, from the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, a friend of mine, his name is Jonathan, actually turned me on to the true definition of the word shalom. <coughs> and it is not just happiness and peace. It is overwhelming abundance in every every area of your life. It's not just the bills paid and the kids off to to class and crows crowing, but uh, it is wholeness. It's a retirement. It's the kids coming back for your birthday and your friends coming to harass you to take you out for dinner and I don't know I just want to pray that over you uh, in your coming semester because it seems like you were a little bit overwhelmed uh, the, the verse that I was uh, reading from was 1-7 um, if you'd like to look it up uh, your requested translation, I actually left at work, so you get the NIV today, but anyway, it's a beautiful day, and I hope this is great. Goodbye.